I have journeyed through an illness, a flood, and an unexpected move. And I'm still here. Happy New Year! I know I'm a little late, but better late than never. Today, I want to talk about workspace orientation. First of all, everybody that does a trade, whether it's an art trade, an electrical trade, any kind of trade, they need a place to do their work. I have somehow managed to, in a record small amount of time, set up a little work area and I attempted to do this video for Yule and then when Yule passed I was like, I'm gonna get it done for Christmas and then Christmas passed and then I just went, okay, I just need to do a video, I just moved. I'm gonna be happy that there's gonna be anything considering the hustle that I had to pull to set up this space. It was totally worth it though. So I've set up my space on a folding table and an old desk, old mini desk I got from Target that's seen better days. And it shall work for now. And I shall make this video on them and you shall see it. So as you can see, I have on my table, there's a bar. That bar thing is adjustable. It is pinning down the top of my Yule-themed illustration work. It can be used for the top or bottom of a work, or it can be used as the bottom ledge to s set markers and stuff on, or it can be used to hold down an entire pad. The thing's adjustable. It's really, really, really cool. I use it when I go to events and I want to show me doing my work in action. So it's the little portable version. I cannot do, because of its size, I cannot do full, big, huge 18 by 20 illustrations, which is my favorite size to work on, like I can with my big desk. But I can do small portraiture or smaller works on this desk, so it's pretty good for that. And one of the ways I got it to kind of feel like home and get myself into the groove of working is um, whenever I go someplace and I set up, I always organize whatever medium I'm using chromatically. I will do it according to the rainbow and then I will have the black, grays, and whites off to the side. And I will pretty much do this with any of the colored mediums. Black and white and blending mediums tend to get kind of moved to the side and grouped together by type. I will not limit myself to one medium. If available, I will pretty much use anything as a medium. I find organizing my environment in this way allows me to progress quickly through my illustration and it allows me to get and display the greatest range of color as appropriate for what I decided to do with a specific illustration. So yeah, um, what do you guys do to make your work area feel like it's home so you can draw and do the best you can do?